for the DIY finish or some kind of painting guitar, this is uh, actually the one that's all started out. This is where, because it's a cheap uh, Mexican made, only $99, I buy on a Mexico fan. So I just starting to testing and painting. This one is uh, planning to use this uh, YZM fuse. Uh, this one become the pickup test platform of the next one. This one is Robert Johnson triple guitar. Actually, uh, it's nearly finished. Uh, some pretty painting and the knot is not finished yet. So this one is uh, the outer body I buy from the one up. It's a uh, world lightweight outer body. I testing this two pickup on this testing platform. And this both are uh, body, and uh, on the back, this is uh, the the car portrait on the back. Then I buy from this pickup is a set of Jimmy Hendrix Center pickup. So for the natural thing, so it's obviously I will go for uh, build a Jimmy Hendrix cheap guitar, obviously polarity. So. This one is lower, this, this side is higher. I don't know if you can see or not. I also found a reverse headstock. Quite a beautiful bird eye maple. Uh, this one, go for this. And in the progress, actually, I make this, uh, I make this ready strut caster out of Noster uh, um, Ash. And uh, it's quite nice. I like this quite nice. It's a kind of ready, ready uh, finished guitar. Also, I like this quite much. Also, I think the lightweight, uh, extra lightweight, uh, roast edge body is quite nice. So, so for the tribute to the Jimmy Hendrix this uh, guitar. I also chosen this uh, very lightweight edge uh, body. You hear the sound of the knocking sound. It's quite white and uh, full of tone. And also, I order a picker of a reverse on the bridge picker. And then this reverse headstock of a bird eye maple neck. Go along here. For the design choice, this Monterey Hinges signature guitar is uh, maybe the offer choice. But I don't like this uh, uh, kind of uh, hand painting things. And uh, I was thinking about uh, maybe combine these two guitar, these two hinges guitar. This one is a uh, Jimmy Hendrix uh, Strawfler Strawcaster. It's another design. It's more full of the more things on the side. This is uh, he holding this this guitar design. He holding this one is broken in the museum. And this someone paint another people, someone else painted it. And this one is another by another design. It's a evolution of this one. So I think about something like this. It's a more sophisticated and more refined design of the this one. Or maybe combine of the this one. This is someone else this design. I maybe go for this direction. And on the fun, on this area for this for this kind of direction, I planning to uh, use 3D painting to paint this like this kind of uh, uh, relief ones thing. This or this kind of design to freely paint and uh, make on the guitar surface. So this surface are kind of uh, 
metal design of a 3D relief on the front. And on the back, I experimental something to cover the this uh, tremolo uh, back. So here, although this hole, I will cover hole, the whole thing is covered. Why is hole here? So, so it's for me to can see how how much space I got inside, so I can have some kind of a uh, screw on the side, so this can be fixed on the back of here. So I can have a whole fat surface on the back. So I can pin this Jimmy Hendrix burning guitar, this iconic image on the back of the guitar. Once I get a, once I got the back of the a kind of fat surface. So this is a painting, pin this on the back. Also, because it's burning, so I were experimental also a kind of a burning technique to make the wood grain more more patrol and some kind of experimental treatment on the wood grain on the back. Put this aside, so we talk about this one. So this one is another one from the Warner. First songs also very nice for the knocking song. On the Warner supplies, they call the super lightweight. It's very 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 nice. You can see I can even holding up with just my pinkies. I don't know if you can see or not in the camera. In here, I'm holding up just by my. Just by my pinkies, so it's very very lively, and the sound of it is very very loud and very bass when you're knocking on it. Compared to this body, this body is a although it's a hollow body, it's a mahogany. You can see it here the sound is not so. This edge body is even louder when you're knocking, and it doesn't uh, lack of the bottom low uh, tone. Even this uh, edge body, traditional people think is a more uh, brighter tone, so it's got a, a kind of full of full range of the uh, sound tones. For this one, I uh, thinking about a kind of a tribute to the recent Hong Kong event and a tribute to the Hong Kong uh, freedom fighter. Uh, they are fighting for democracy in Hong Kong. One of the recent event is uh, they have a, a Lady Liberty statue to uh, moving on the Lion Rock Mountain of Hong Kong. On here, so it's a kind of a very symbolic event, and I got a news cover all around the world. So I quite proud of the, this event. So I want making think about make this guitar. So here's the one I'm painting. On this part, I was using the wood cut graph, the iron lion rock. Mountain on this part, so it's a kind of uh, moving from this part to this part. So the line, so this part we're following the pika to become a silver air of the line rock uh, mountain on this part, and uh, on here there will be a three D paint. Uh, Lady Liberty statue symbolizes uh, on the top of the mountain. And on the back of the guitar, I will uh, painting this drawing. 
which uh, are kind of symbolized of the fighting for freedom of the Hong Kong young people. At least on the back of the guitar, this painting. Or a kind of another version of the French Revolution painting of uh, Lady Liberty more than a uh, hundred years ago. And uh, finally, on this one, it's uh, quite a long time ago, I buy this uh, mahogany and uh, maple cap top VIP of a PRS style. Because this fin top is not so fancy, I think about the painting also maybe use a kind of water quality and need to paint on the surface. Um, like the version I show you on the screen, another painting. So it's a kind of watercolor similar to the dyeing effect. So it's uh, still keep the filament tall on the front. So the whole thing, whole guitar thing, I was thinking about the cop um, 27. So a kind of uh, a group of the young musician dying at the age of 27. So on the fan and on the back, thinking of the kind of a core base of a portrait. This control cover here, I will cover up with a mahogany wood paint. So it's uh, the color is unified, so I can also paint on this area. This one, although it's a uh, semi-hollow, it's actually heavy like this two body. So you can imagine how lightweight these two uh, super lightweight edge bodies.